first thing I'll do is just give some information about the role. Um, so it was introduced, as I say, in the government guidance on visiting um, from the 8th of March, and it runs alongside the other types of visiting. And it recognises that some residents need more support from relatives or friends, um, a, a greater degree of contact or, or actually help with, with personal care. So an essential caregiver can visit more often, they can visit for longer um, inside the residence room and have closer contact and that means even during outbreaks. So individual assessments have to be carried out to see whether an essential caregiver is needed as being central to the resident's health or well-being. So for example, if that person needs help with their personal care tasks like support with eating or drinking, um, if they need emotional or mental support, or it may be that the essential caregiver's presence um, is actually beneficial to the resident's well-being, for example, by helping to relieve distress.